Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon and today I'm going to show you part two of how to create your outdoor smart garden lighting. So first of all, here's our wiring diagram. So as we discussed in the last episode, we've got our AC power coming in to this 12 volt power supply. And just remember that you need to calculate the amperage. I would say at least a five amp, but if you've got a lot of lights and uh, the higher wattage, I would definitely perhaps go for a 10 amp supply. Now you've connected your red and your black cable, positive and negative from your power supply. The red goes to the neutral or the positive and the black goes to the live or the negative. Now, next you need to have a little jumper cable here going from the live over to the one, which is your one side of the switch. So when the Shelly is switched on and off, it will close this little contact over here. So when we close the contact, the power is then able to flow from the positive around here through the lights, back through the switch to the negative, and then it will supply power to the lights. Um, the lights, as we discussed in the last episode, they are in what we call parallel. So the red always goes to the red and the black to the black, so that each of these lights gets the same amount of voltage. If we put them in series, they would then glow very dimly. So really important to set them up in parallel like this. So that is how to do your wiring. Now, in the second part of this video, I'm going to show you the automation. But before we do that, I'm going to show you another way of doing it. If you don't want to play around with the Shelly, you can use a smart plug. So I'm going to set up a smart plug and then I'm going to show you the integration. All right, so let's create our automation now. So we'll go down here to settings. Now, this can either be done with a Shelly one as what I showed you in the first example but you could also quite easily do this with a smart plug. So in this example, when I create the automation, I'm gonna show using a smart plug, but you would do it exactly the same for the Shelly one. So we're gonna to go to automations and scenes. I'm gonna create a new automation, start with an empty automation, and we're going to add the trigger. So the trigger here is the sun. So when the sun sets, we want to turn the lights on. So we go for Trigger when the sun sets, sunset, and then we go add action. So for the action, we're going to select our device. Now, this smart plug is called bedroom lamp. I haven't renamed it because sometimes it's tricky to rename things in Home Assistant without causing issues. So let's just go here. Bedroom lamp is my smart, bowl or my smart plug, and I'm going to tell it to turn on. So in other words, as the sun sets, it turns on the lights. Save that and we call that Sunset Lights On and we save that. Easy as that. Second automation I'm going to do is I'm going to create an automation to now you could either turn these off at sunrise but I'm going to show you how to turn it off at a time just to show you something different. So let's go here start with an empty automation the trigger is once again this time now time and I'm going to say let's turn the lights off at 10 p.m. for example so fixed time okay and we're going to say action uh, which is going to be our device and once again bedroom lamp which is actually my outdoor lights and we're going to say turn them off at 10 o'clock and that is how easy it is to do we give it a name turn off lights and we save that and that's how easy it is so that's all for now look forward to catching up again bye then